Hello guys, Topher Smurf here. Welcome back to the channel. I want to break down a new, maybe not new to you, but a new method to me that was brought to my attention by Zed over at Zed's YouTube channel, a friend of mine over on the Asia servers. It is a crazy efficient method to get all of your gear to plus 15, which you know is nearly impossible. And we can do it without using those expensive durability restore stones. Zed is a really smart guy, so we decided to collaborate on this video. Zed took a lot of footage of him going through this process, and I'm going to bring it to you now. Now, let me warn you, this is much better for building a brand new summoner like Saletta, or even the new assassin summoner Heath coming out in the future. It also takes a little bit of patience and a lot of Tree of Heroes farming. Stop. Let me give you two warnings before trying this at home, kids. First, when using Succession, you must remove your gems out of a weapon or they will be consumed and lost forever. Second, please make sure to go slow and put the right gear in the right slot. Good substats go in the bottom and bad substats go in the top. When Zed first tried to explain this whole process to me, I'll be honest, I was a little bit confused, but that's not very hard to do. Let me lay out a roadmap to try to make this a little bit easier. First of all, here are some items that you will need. Number one, a lot of Tree of Heroes equipment. That includes weapons, accessories, sub weapons, you name it. Keep everything, you're gonna want as much as you can get. Number two, one piece of gear that has very good substats. Preferably a Tree of Heroes one, but you can always upgrade something else that has good substats up to the two awakened six star spot. Finally, one piece of gear that is your final chosen gear type that you want your summoner to have with the correct main stat for your summoner. For instance, Saletta sub weapon could be a foggy prison sub weapon or a twisted marsh sub weapon. Main stats could include crit damage, attack percent, and HP percent if you're building a Saletta. For example, Zed here will be using a twisted marsh sub weapon as their final choice of sub weapon for their new Saletta. All right. Here's the steps, follow along with me. Step number one, farm Tree of Heroes. Yes, the Tree of Heroes raid is the best for this because it drops six star to awaken gear and this makes this whole upgrade process much smoother and saves lots of resources. Once you have a nice little stockpile of gear, you wanna look through your gear for your best substats. For instance, on my account, I have this sub weapon for Cleef. I don't necessarily care that it's for Cleef or what type of shield it is. All I care about is that its starting point is really good substats. Step number two, grab your good substats gear and level that up to plus 12. Zed suggests plus 12, but you could start this process earlier. It'll just take a little more TOH farming. Use some durability stones to get it to plus 12 if you need to. Now, try to enhance it one more time. Maybe you're lucky and get plus 13, but most likely you will use up all of your durability and you can't move on. Step number three, take this good substats plus 12 gear and place it in the bottom slot of the succession menu. Zed here in the video provided is actually using plus 14 gear, but that's because he already has used this method a little bit, but just pretend that plus 14 is a plus 12, same thing applies. Next, place any of your farmed TOH items of the same gear type in the top. The main stat of the top gear does not matter yet, so any item will do. Succeeded. The top gear now has plus 12 enhanced level and those good substats that we want. Notice that you have gotten back your durability points. This is the key to this entire process using succession to get our durability points back instead of expensive durability restore stones. Step number four, take your new gear with the plus 12 and good substats and enhance it until you run out of durability again. Hopefully you will get plus 13, but if not, put this gear back in succession in the bottom and place another TOH gear in the top and do it all again. Notice once again, you have gotten back your durability points. Repeat this process until your gear is plus 15 with good substats. Step number five, final succession. Now that you have a piece of gear that is plus 15 with good substats, you will now do your final succession. Plus 15 gear goes in the bottom and your gear type of choice with the correct main stat, if applicable, will go in the top. Succeeded. Step number six, 
promote your Twisted Marsh gear to 6-star 3A. You will notice that it will maintain its plus 15 level. Step number seven, use your precious refined catalyst to max out the subgrades to all S's. Step number eight, use your preservation stones to try and get the stats that you want for your summoner. You can craft more of these in the processing crafting menu, and you will need lots of these enchantment shards. Best way to get enchantment shards is farming subjugation and disassembling the equipment. All right, guys, so hopefully this is going to help you in the future, or if you're building a new summoner, it's a great place to start. All right, Topher Army, head over to Zed's YouTube channel and make sure to go subscribe to him. I want to make sure that he blows up. If you have any questions about the process or anything regarding Summoner's War Chronicles, head down to the description below. There's a link to the Discord channel. Myself and Zed are there all the time. We can answer your questions. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video so that way I can continue to bring you more content around Summoner's War Chronicles. As always, guys, I appreciate you for watching. My name's Topher Smurf telling you to keep on gaming.